right, here goes nothing. Trucker Matt, everybody. How oh, y'all been? It's been a long time. I'm coming at you from my shop. That's right. I got a shop. It's been about a year in the making. We closed escrow on this house just about two years. It might be two years to this date. I got to check exactly. About two years ago, we closed escrow on a house that had a little shop and a shed in the back. And then my lovely fiance got me an IVAC system or the beginning of one and it's evolved into a wood shop which is fun because I've been swinging a hammer since I was 14 and framing houses and once you got a boss that knows you can do that things get slow at a paving company you better put on your bag anyway this is the shop and I decided I want to give back to YouTube instead of just being a sarcastic, you know what, on here. And I still have some Wagons West videos for everybody. I'm going to post those. Um, part of my giving back to YouTube is uh, I learned to fix iPhones because of YouTube. So I'm going to try to help people out with my skills and knowledge, things I've learned about. Yeah, I've changed a lot in the last, let's see, did the Wagons West was 2016 when I was coming across the country, back to my hometown of Big Bear here, well back to California and then I ended up in Big Bear, been a long, long journey since the old Wagons West retired trucker, <laughs> but here I am, got myself a shop, I got a garage too that I'm going to try to put a couple of their tools in. Maybe uh, build a bigger workbench or go through things in my shop here like this. Amazon. What I thought was just a cheapo workbench, but it's actually pretty cool. It's got a couple flaws, but yeah, I got it. Got it pretty sound and working the way I like it. And I'm um, pretty grateful. Definitely a different dude than I was when I was doing those Wagons West videos. I'll discuss all that. Just want to help people, really do. Want to uh, try to help other YouTubers that have helped me out. This guy Stumpy Nubs, I found him, and I'm actually making one of his projects. I want to show you my variation on it. Not really a variation. I guess it would be a variation. Just something I did that I thought would strengthen it. Plus, I get to use one of my new toys I got over the summer, and here it is next year. I haven't got to use. So, I'm gonna do that and. I'm just going to be helpful, try to entertain you guys, show you some helpful things. Go over some shop safety, uh, safety in life. I mean, this guy's Stumpy, Stumpy Nubs, James Hamilton. He's got a, he's got a e-magazine. Yeah, see that? If that's in focus. I don't have a tripod or any fancy video equipment yet. You're all coming to me from on top of the handle of a compound miter saw. But this guy, Stumpy Nubs, really cool uh, raised panel jig project. Like I said, I'll go over some of the things I did with it here in another video. And, uh, and you guys can uh, go there, support him, buy the plants, check out what he does. He shows you all kinds of amazing stuff. And he's actually been showing me I'm on the right port of life. I mean, his YouTube videos are coming on. I'm seeing things I didn't even search for, but it's what I'm doing at that point in life so it's almost like you know when you're in the right flow like hey that's where you're supposed to be God's got you in the right spot that's been pretty cool God bless him if you're a praying person pray for me in a little accident we know we know that his hand is going to get better God bless Stumpy James Hamilton but yeah he did a, a video recently on first aid and uh and or not first aid well I'm looking I looked at a first aid kit as I was going to say a video on safety, which is part of it. You should have a first aid kit in your shop at hand or wherever you work. And it's not just about working in your shop being safe. Safety in life. I was taking the Christmas lights down today. And I thought about James' safety video there. How no matter what you're doing, whether you're using power tools or just climbing up a ladder and using a trowel to kick 
stuff out of your gutter or popping staples out of the fascia to take your Christmas lights down. Doesn't matter. Safety should be the number one most important thing. Because even something as silly as a eight foot roof drop could really I mean change your life. Be life changing, seriously. You never think about that stuff. So, you know, anybody, even just, you know, the weekend warrior, you know, go work on your house. Take take the same precaution that I would take when I get in a semi truck or a motor grader or a excavator. Hey, I'm still doing something. Like it's a leaf blower or it's still a power tool and you're still not just using tools but interacting in environments that might not be your everyday. Slip, fall, trip hazards, all that stuff is is, is can be serious just, just as serious around the house as it can be in an industrial or construction environment. So I mean, check this guy out. Stumpy Nubs, James Hamilton, he really, really has a lot of, a plethora of knowledge when it comes to woodworking and the shop. And I've learned a lot, and I'm, I'm grateful, and I hope I can uh, help give back and uh, show you guys some stuff and help turn you guys on to him. Because I know he's, he, I mean, he's got nothing that I got in the car as far as uh, videos go, man. I mean, it's rad to see editing and and music and all that, you know, maybe one day I can be traipsing through the woods with some sharp objects and crossing ice and snow and streams and mossy rocks, you know, whatever. We'll have a nice little intro and some toodly-doo music. But for now, hey, I got an iPhone. Maybe I'll invest in an iPhone tripod so this will be a little more, uh, can get a couple different angles. Not so frustrating for the user here, trying to balance the phone and creep around. Yeah. But hey, I'm grateful. I got a shop. All glory to God. I'm very thankful for that. And thankful to share with you guys. I'm grateful for life. Life has really, really come around in ways that I wouldn't have even expected it years ago. Four, five years ago. Almost five years ago now. Four years ago. Wow. Trip. So, anyways, um, this is the shop. I'm gonna be doing some more videos, and I'm gonna post those old uh, Wagons West videos, the the completion of my trip across country with the toy hauler in my truck. The toy hauler is part of the reason I got this house, and the Harley turned into an FJ Cruiser. Oh, so grateful. And uh, yeah, man, life is a trip. So. Uh, I already had the cold ones, and I don't have a me a, a nice hot one out here in the shop. The old ladies, yeah, the misses, the little misses. I don't like that term, guys. If you call them your 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 wife or your girlfriend, an old lady, try to break that habit now. We hear it out on the job site. That that words create. Don't call her an old lady. She's gonna turn into an old lady. By golly, you gonna call her a, a beautiful young thing, and she's gonna be that all her life. So, anyways, um. Join the hot one. If you want a hot one, go grab a hot one. If you're into cold ones, had enough cold ones today, so time to sit back and uh, relax before bed. Uh, warm up here. It's a little cold in Big Bear still. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, which brings me to one more thing I wanna real quick before we end this here video. You might hear that hum. That is my. Um, Force, not force, there's space heater up there. And a uh, little uh, dusty in there. Time to turn on the filter. But yeah, we got ourselves a salesman sample so we don't have to waste any electricity and warm it 20 times better. That thing just goes and it gets luke cold in here. It's nice. So uh, I got this, picked it up on eBay. I looked and looked, and this was the, the pretty much the, for the price, the best. Uh, of the salesman samples that I could find. Uh, the door needs a little love, but another equipment operator I work with is a uh, metalsmith, so he's gonna braise a, braise a little nub so the hinge falls back in there and won't fall off when you open. Clean out your ash and whatnot down there. These are pretty cool, man. They uh, Salesmen would go around back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, and show the fireplace. Um, 
retailers. Hey, we have this and this and this, and this is our sample. And they go out in the parking lot and they light a fire up. And, uh, hey, now they're antiques, but they are usable. One thing, if anybody is looking into shop heating, you live in a cold area and you want to burn wood, burn scrap, well, I, burn uh, pellets, coal, I don't know, like, whatever you're into, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your fancy. Um, something I had no clue about or didn't even think about. I did, just, eh, whatever. Pipe, stove pipe. It is just as expensive as this stove was on eBay, an antique stove that I bought. I'm going to spend probably more um, going out through the side or the roof, you know, whatever way you want to exit. I don't, I don't care. It's not really the, the exit method as much as stovepipe. And then living in California, I'm finding out that there's all kinds of nonsense with the... Hey, don't get me started. I'm not going to start preaching, but yeah. Other issues to deal with. Anyways, that'll be some of my videos. We're going to get the salesman sample hooked up, heating up the shop. I want to build a little cabinet with a, with a nice, pretty flat rock and practice some... I've never done any masonry, so that'll be fun. I'm going to do a little masonry over there in the corner of the shop just to kind of get me out. Something fun to do. I mean, if you do all this other stuff your whole life, uh, it's fun to, to, to break out in a new trade. That's hence this shop. I'm working with wood forever, but I want to hold my craft, learn tighter, more fine skills. And, uh, that's why I don't want to drive trucks. I want to sit in that motor grader as much as I can. Hard up a big bear here, but yeah, that's a. Uh, that's what's fun, is once you get good at something, it's you get bored unless you're honing, honing, honing. And that's what I want to do. So thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate any comments, subscriptions. Go check out Stumpy Nubs. Pretty cool dude. James Hamilton. Say if you're a praying person, he is healed. We know it. Be showing you guys some pretty cool stuff here, I hope. God bless all. Thank you.